Uh, yeah, so how did you eventually become an atheist? So I actually attribute a lot of it, and this is the, the funny part, is I started following a lot of left-wing pages because, you, you know, I'm sure you can guess, they were defending Islam basically 24-7. Um, so I started following these pages and, like, you know, as you can, as you know, a lot of it is about, you know, individuality, freedom of choice, freedom of expression. Um, and I think the, the real starting point was feminism because obviously feminism was something that applied to me on a personal level. Um, it had a personal impact on my life. And I think it was the area that I was most willing to challenge about Islam because I basically had a barely suppressed rage at all times about how women were regarded in a doctrine. I, but it, again, it was just one of those issues where, like, I knew I was seeing inequality and injustice, but none of my role models showed me that it was okay to feel that way. So, so it took feminism and it took having a way, like a language to articulate these thoughts and these ideas for me to actually recognize the inherent truth of them and to, to break through the spell of that fear. So they, they talk about challenging these ideas mm. and Islam does nothing but reinforce them. Like mm. everything about Islam makes women, you know, the, the, the property and ownership of men and they have to exist in accordance to men. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.